And uh, that's the bronze dealt with. Coming up now, it's the gold medal match between the fifth seed France and the third seed the USA. The teams will be waiting it in the wings. Uh, but uh, we see how the two teams got to this stage. Uh, France taking out Colombia in the semi finals, having uh, beaten Denmark in the quarterfinals. And the USA coming through Italy and then the Netherlands in a really tight semi final, 156 to 155. So coming out onto the field of play, France and the USA for the mixed team gold medal. Señoras y señores, por favor, den la bienvenida a los atletas al campo para la medalla de oro en arco compuesto por equipos Vixo. Oh, out come the Americans, Alexis Ruiz and Matty Sullivan. En la diana número dos, representando a Estados Unidos de América, Alexis Ruiz. Matt Sullivan. The USA will face France for this gold medal. Two familiar names coming out on to the field of play. Pierre Julien Deloche leading out Sophie Dodemont. In la Diana número uno, representando a Francia, Sophie Dodemont. Pierre Julian Dolores. El juez de la línea para esta partida será Roy Cortez. So I personally may have a favorite in this fight. France? <laughs> well, you were uh, America's uh, only female archer of 2016, so familiar to. Uh, uh, big competition. Uh, how, how, how do the Americans prepare for something like this? I, I think it's just practice every day, you know, at least getting a few arrows in, even, you know, if it's at blank bail where you're not really competing, as long as you keep your muscles ready for archery. Yeah, going through the process, going through the routine, and it's uh, the USA who will shoot first here in this gold medal match, Matty Sullivan on the line. Measure here for the first end of the gold medal match. Right. Nice start from Dimash. who hasn't been on this field thus far and still manages a 10. That's really impressive.
Well, nice stuff from the United States. We will have a measure on that second arrow, but uh, that's it. Like, might get marked up to a 10. So I believe it's in. It, it looks about a quarter of a line in. He didn't look very comfortable with that release. Looked a little forced to me, so I think that's evident in the nine. Well, we still have the uh, measure here, even though France dropped a couple of points in that end. The cumulative score makes a difference. Target two, left target, 10, 10, right target, X10. So there you go. <laughs> that uh, arrow was upgraded. I, I thought it was like on the line. Sometimes it can kick out, so the judge uh, confirmed for us, and we will take a three-point lead. Yeah, important there as well with the two, uh, two final arrows from France dropping an eight and a nine. Uh, that markup uh, is even more beneficial to the USA. And uh, we've said it before, and I'm sure we'll say it again. A, a quick and fast start, really crucial here in Medellin. I think it just gets you in, in a good flow for the rest of the match. We look back over that end, and uh, the eight there from Dodemont. Well, will they pay for that? Deloche on the line start of the second end in the gold medal match between the France and the USA. Such a steady, smooth action there from Matt Sullivan. to extend the lead here, two tens required for the USA to do that. Well, anything less than a ten will mean France are four back by one here. Potentially two if that nine gets marked up to a ten. Solid 10 from Ruiz, and uh, we are going to see whether the uh, target judges come out. They do. So I talked with uh, Matt Sullivan yesterday, and he was saying that when he practices, he uses a wind gauge 
in meters per second because that's what we use in the finals matches. So he knows, based on what the, the gauge is saying on the screens, where he needs to aim because he's practiced it before, which I think is great for, for preparation in these finals matches. Yeah, and the practice field here actually is very close, isn't it? Yeah, it, I mean, so our practice for the finals day is what we competed on for our preliminary matches, but before the finals field was set up, this was the practice range, so we got a little bit more experience on this field than we normally do in a World Cup. Very handy indeed, getting your sights in, in the very place where you're shooting for medals. So France still trailing, will shoot first. It's time for N3, the USA leading by three. for more good response putting the pressure on the USA weather conditions where you're aiming um, but like I said before just encouragement is really important when it comes to a team well, he's not happy about that and in fact uh, Virginia Delosh has not looked happy throughout this and he's shooting so well such is a uh, perfectionist nature of these archers Close on time, but she still sinks the nine. So a big opportunity here for the USA to pile the pressure on. Exactly shooting so so well. Another ten for the Americans. May well put this one to bed. Well, they lead by five going into the final end. The USA have shot phenomenally. Just one or two dropped arrows from France. So they trail by five here in Medellin, going for gold in the mixed team event. And uh, the Americans shooting so consistently, consistently McKenzie. Look at look at these arrows. Uh, France in yellow, USA in red. Yeah, I, I see France pushing a little bit lower than we are. We're still hanging on the low side of the ten ring, but it's still just inside of those rings, so it's good enough. Yeah, uh, the grouping uh, a lot narrower for the USA. All smiles for the American coach. Schaff and uh, Strachan there amongst the Americans watching on, supporting their team. But France will shoot first here. It's the last end of the gold medal match. France training by five to the USA. Start. Yes. Oh. 
That's definitely what they want to do to be able to put some kind of pressure on the U.S. team. But I have a feeling they're going to answer pretty pretty well to those two tens. Yeah, but there's not much more the French can do. They have to put the pressure on, shoot consistently. Yep, right there, Eagle. Oh, she oh, predicted Mackenzie, Matt Sullivan Eagle, shooting another there. 10. But uh, they've got room for error, the Americans. The French most certainly have not. Mm -hmm. 152, the possible score for the French at the conclusion of the match. Dodemont needs a 10 to secure that score, though. Now that's marked as a 10. It's exceptionally close, but it doesn't look like that's going to be measured. So 152 for France, 14 required by the USA to draw level. Anything more? And they've yep, got yeah, gold. Well, in there, you got it here. well, there's more than half of the 14 they needed. Right now. Make it yours. It's got to be just enough. That's where we want it. Yeah, a nine has done it. USA have taken gold. We did actually get a sneak peek of this score changing at the end there. That uh, 10 up from France being marked for a measure. Uh, but uh, even if it does get marked up to a 10, the USA has shot so consistently. Matt Sullivan's smooth action combined with Alexis Ruiz's consistent hitting of the center has taken the USA to the mixed team gold here in Medellin.